Good afternoon, Mr. Kurt Golden. Uh, we, you have been kind enough to help us with our mechanic problems with our old truck. And then several times we came here to get your help. So would you say a few, a few words to our okay. friends? I'm Kurt Golden. I'm Kurt Golden. I am from the mountains of West Virginia. I have come, I come to Haiti something like seven years ago. I do volunteer mechanic work for the missionaries only and uh, I've got into more work than I can handle but the Lord helps us. The truck that I first worked on two or three months ago, if, you can, if I could tear it apart and let you see this, this wheel is just patched together. It's not done right, they probably need three or four hundred dollars just to fix it. And if you walk around the rest of the truck, you see the front end is mashed in here a little bit and underneath of it, the undercarriage is just about shot and if you walk around on this side and you'll notice there's no windows left in the truck I don't know how they got broke out but they're not there that needs repaired and this side over here if I remember right it's needs a wheel cylinder and a few other things in and she tells me she ain't got no third gear in the transmission well now that could either run from two hundred dollars or to fifteen hundred dollars to fix so uh, if you guys are driving anything this bad in the States Okay, but if you're driving something better, try to help them out a little.
My name is Horacio Hecheverry. I am an Argentinian physician, and we are a group of doctors, nurses, chemists, and deontologists. We work here, and we have been assigned by our country and the MINUSTA, and we do have the possibility to realize activities of assistance apart from the specific activities that the UN requests from us. We are here just about every Saturday. My name is Gustavo Alonso, I'm also an Argentinian doctor, and fundamentally the work that we do here is to assist the neighboring population of the mission, children for the most part, and in addition to that, we update our records about once a month on all the children who live here at the orphanage. We check their weight and the possible illnesses they could have.